Welcome back. So we've been talking about image compression and the fast Fourier transform. And in this lecture, I'm gonna show you how you can do an even better job oftentimes by using the wavelet transform for image compression. Okay, so this is uh, gonna be a MATLAB version of this lecture. So instead of FFT, we're gonna be using uh, the wavelet transform that we've discussed in previous lectures. Uh, and instead of FFT2 here, and IFFT, we're basically going to be doing the continuous, uh, or sorry, the discrete wavelet transform and the inverse wavelet transform. And these are built into MATLAB and Python, so uh, you can kind of get working on this really, really quickly, okay? So we're gonna do the same uh, image uh, representation problem of my dog Mordecai. So we're gonna load the dog, I'm gonna show you what the wavelet transform looks like on Mort, and then we're gonna use this for compression, okay? So that's uh, all coming up. Okay, good. Uh, and I'm gonna show you this a couple of different ways. So uh, again, we're just gonna read in the dog, we're gonna turn this into a grayscale image, uh, and then in this line six, we're going to compute the wavelet decomposition. So this is a two-level wavelet decomposition, n equals two. And we're gonna use the Dobashi uh, one wavelet, which is just one of many, many, many types of wavelets you can use. We could replace this with a Haar wavelet, uh, coiflets, all kinds of different wavelets uh, you can choose from, okay? So really simple. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is, most of this is actually just for um, kind of, so this, uh, once I compute this wavelet decomposition, all of that information is gonna be stored in these C and S uh, objects. And then you're going to basically pull out of those coefficients in C the different uh, approximation at level one and all of the kind of matrices for, uh, for these coefficients. And so you should look at the documentation of, of wave deck two, wave deco uh, wavelet decomposition. The two means that this is for a two by two array rather than a one dimensional signal. Sorry, not a two by two array an array with, with uh, basically a matrix. This is for a matrix uh, instead of for a one-dimensional signal. And then we're gonna pull out all of the information from level one, level two. If this was an n equals three, a three-level decomposition, we'd have the same code for level three, and so on and so forth. And here, I'm just gonna plot some of these matrices for you, and you can see uh, what the wavelet decomposition looks like. Okay, so I'm gonna load Mort, run the wavelet decomposition, and this is, uh, this is what you get. So there's a lot going on here. I'm gonna try to walk you through this, um, but this is a very kind of shallow treatment of the wavelet decomposition. So you're gonna have to dig a little deeper and, and read some uh, documentation if you really wanna figure out what all of these matrices mean and how to use them. But the basic idea, uh, this is kind of a coarse version of the image. So I had a high res image and essentially the first thing we're going to do is uh, kind of get a coarse grained low res version of that image. And then each of these levels are going to be uh, corrections to that low resolution version of, of Mort. Okay, so you're basically gonna take to this, you're gonna add these little features, and then to that you're gonna add these little features, and you're gonna get more and more uh, kind of resolution by, by taking this low coarse grainy image and then adding these refinement features, okay? And you'll notice that these refinements are mostly black. They're mostly zeros or nearly zero, and then all of the kind of refinement is focused on regions where you need more resolution. So like whiskers, eyes, places where there's a lot going on in the image. And so that's nice because what that means is that you're only storing kind of this low res information and then you can zero out all of the, the black or nearly black uh, elements of this wavelet uh, decomposition and you only have to save information in this refinement region. And so I'm gonna uh, kind of zoom in here just to give you a picture of what one of these, um, okay, so this is kind of a zoom in on some of the features that you might, uh, that you might refine, okay? So back in the day, uh, if you loaded images, you know, on a slow modem, you'd see them line by line kind of raster load, okay? And now what you see when you have an image, a really high resolution lo image loading, and maybe you have a slow internet connection, what you'll see 
is it'll start off with a really coarse, grainy, kind of blocky version of the image, so very low res, and then every once in a while it'll get another level of the wavelet decomposition loaded, and so it'll refine some, some of that image and, and add a little bit of detail, and then it'll load some, you know, another level of the wavelet decomposition, and you'll see even more features come into crisp focus. And so instead of the old days of kind of raster loading of images, now you can actually see the compression algorithm sometimes when you have a slow internet connection because your image will load uh, one level of the wavelet decomposition at a time and you'll actually see features kind of uh, come into focus. So maybe you've never seen that before, but now that I've told you, you'll see it uh, if you ever have like a low uh, bandwidth internet connection and you're trying to load you know, a high resolution image. Okay, so that definitely happens. Okay, good. Um, so that's a very, very shallow kind of treatment of, of what the wavelet decomposition in MATLAB does and some of the ways you can pull this apart. You can see there's a lot of information here. So I definitely recommend you check out the documentation, kind of read up on this if you want to actually use this for anything. Um, and you know, try different different wavelets. Try a Har wavelet. Try try other kinds of wavelets and see if they do better or worse um, and how how they perform. Um, there is a nice code you can download uh, on, on the, the MathWorks exchange called Plot Wavelet 2 that basically does everything I did in my previous code, but in one line. So if you run this code, uh, it basically generates um, that low res image and then all of these wavelet refinements um, at, at higher, higher resolution. So I think that's kind of nice. Okay, good. So finally, what we're going to do is we're going to use this for compression. So just like in the Fourier transform, we found that many, many of those Fourier coefficients were nearly zero and we could throw them away. We're going to do the exact same thing in the wavelet transformation. So lots of those coefficients are nearly zero and we can throw them away and still have a really faithful representation of our original image. In fact, that's the basis of the JPEG 2000 image compression. It's kind of a better version of Fourier compression using wavelets. It's wavelet compression. Okay, so same exact thing as before. We're going to have our dog. We're going to compute a, in this case, four uh, layer wavelet decomposition. So we're going to have kind of really coarse and then medium, higher, and highest resolution refinements. And just like before, what we're going to do is we're going to sort these wavelet coefficients. Again, this is a big array of wavelet coefficients. We're going to sort those and we're going to keep the first 10%, the first 5%, the first 1%, and the first 0.5% largest wavelet coefficients, and threshold everything else out to zero and see how good those images are even when we massively compress uh, and throw away as many wavelets uh, coefficients as we can, okay? Um, so basically just like the Fourier image compression example, except now we're doing wavelet decomposition. So I'm gonna run this. And we're going to see uh, kind of my dog Mort at different levels of wavelet compression. Okay. Now, if you're doing this at home, I would highly encourage you to do to run this code and also to run the FFT2 version of this code where you compress using the Fourier transform and kind of do a head-to-head -head comparison to see at 1% which of these images actually looks better. Okay, so that's that's really the, the proofs in the pudding. You actually have to you know, run this side by side against the fast Fourier transform version and see if I only keep 1% of my wavelet coefficients or 1% of my Fourier coefficients, which of these images looks better. Now, I think that actually the wavelet compression is doing a much better job here. This is more faithfully capturing uh, fine resolution details of Mort, you know, um, his tail and the whiskers and, and you know, uh, what I would consider high resolution or high frequency components like fur and hair and edges, that's what wavelets are really good at, is capturing those kinds of things. And so um, at least I've convinced myself that it looks better here. Okay, now at 0.5%, if you remember in the FFT example, I went all the way down to 0.2%. But here, if I go, if I compress too far in wavelets, it all kind of breaks down. So I'm actually gonna show you if I only, if I kept only 0.002, so if I go even farther, what you're gonna find is uh, it's running. Now I've like massively over compressed. I've killed major big features of Mort that, uh, you know, it's kind of garbage at this point. So that's, um, 
a concern, but I would say that you know even keeping uh, only the first 0.5%, that's a 200 times compression, and it looks really, really good. Um, you know, very accurate representation of, of Mort. Okay, good, so that's image compression using wavelets. Uh, I encourage you to try this out yourself. It's super easy to use. Um, yeah, and you know, try different different uh, wavelet and different mother wavelets. Try uh, you know Har wavelets and coiflets and other other kinds and kind of see how it works. Okay, thank you.